Alrighty, guys. So it is time to start Minecraft Story Mode Part 3. But technically, this is the start of Episode 2. But this is the Part 3 of our playthrough. So, yeah, anyways, we're going to just hop right into this. I really don't have much to go over here. Um, I'm sorry if you hear a crunch every now and again. I do got me a little bit of a snack this video. So I'll try and uh, not, like chew chips directly into the mic. I know I know what I'm doing here, I hope. Loading screen until we actually get to the first cutscene and then I'm gonna be quiet through the first cutscene. I know I did say last episode Previously that on Minecraft Story I'm Mode. I'm just gonna talk through some of this stuff, but heroes yeah. can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? Probably not. Listen, I'm a half... glass half empty kind of guy. <laughs> This is so cool! The amount of engineering it must have taken to do this? Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this! Eligard was probably fighting off zombie pigmen with one hand, wiring redstone with the other. This is impressive! Thanks to these rails, we'll be there in no time. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything. We're going to get to Eligard's, get her to help us, and we're going to save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse? <gasps> of course it's a wither. <laughs> ow! 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 ow, ow. <laughs> Hide! <laughs> Great! More gas! The mine carts! Do something about the ghast! Okay, think fast, Jesse. What to choose? You know it! So long as you really know what you're doing with it. I really hope I can do this. Did I dodge that successfully? I think I did. Do I just have to shoot the gas now? Skewered! Ha! Skewered him! Okay, we're all set to go again. Hitting the power tracks now! Time to move, buddy. Let's go. I never doubted you for a second, but... But that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Maybe. Look! There's the sign! Redstonia! Redstonia, here we come! We're about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world! Wow! Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia? Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible! Do you think Eligard will be willing? You know, to help us? Probably not.
Then we get the title screen. Also, this episode, the first, this is gonna be the first, like, uh, thumbnail where I went out and I actually got a Minecraft font for the part. So it's gonna be like the first two red ones. There's like uh, iconic normal font, like for like part two, like all that when you type on the computer and all that. Then it's like part three all out of nowhere. It's like, oh look, the font for it's in Minecraft text. Builders of Redstonia. I want you to know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Jessie, there she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. <laughs> so please, continue oh, working. Wait, isn't that continue what was in the wither? And whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. Oh, she's just sealing herself in. I completely Jessie, forgot about that. We need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> That's not good. Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Sure, if you can save the world. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year. I must tell you. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Of Do course, I give it away? You might also want to hang on to it. Yeah, let's okay, give it away. Sure. I, I trust this great. dude. I feel like we'll get it back one way or another. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just oh, you take be this kidding repeater me. and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. <laughs> Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Oh, it's gonna make me craft one. If I recall. Okay, so... I can't remember exactly what I need. I've only ever done this one time in a playthrough. Going I have this no route. idea how it works. Most of the time I go with uh, yeah, Axel over to uh, Boomtown. Who's this guy? Schoolboy. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. Some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. Tell me about this machine of yours. It's freaking huge. The mighty Megmaster 9 million? Yeah, <laughs> it's huge. It's bigger than huge. It's immense. Does it 
do anything other than be big? It walks, I think. But most importantly, it'll totally nab me the spot as Elagard's protege. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Elagard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Some disco weirdo. Hi, buddy. Who are you? Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Elagard's future protege might make, no? What is What this? am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Elagard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Huh. Need, Need a hand, hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. Actually, I was wondering... Can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Well, I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? What little lies is he whispering? I told him I wouldn't tell you, but he thinks you're a cow killer. A real cow cruelty nut. That little... Uh, I'm about to show him. Hey, uh, yo, schoolboy. Uh, we're gonna have some words. Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. I got an idea. I, I, I just also have a mouthful like of chips right now. Goddamn. Ooh, you are Let me just, just steal it. Ugh. Oh no, my machine. Oh, my cows. Oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You. You did this. Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows. My poor cows. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have taken this because this dude just lost his cows. Are you okay, man? Oh, my machine. My poor machine. Oh, I can't let all guard see it like this. Uh, she'll never make me her protege. Oh, how am I ever gonna fix this? Oh, now I'm kind of depressed. Can I steal one from this dude? Like, did I... Is there one I can steal off of his? There's gotta be another one around here. I feel like I just did the, like, the easy repeater to steal. Cowapult? But notice you checking out my cowapult friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd like to try it on your piggy there first. <laughs> oh, believe me, he'll love it. I it's safe, right? I mean, I wouldn't oh, want. Oh, I've never known anything so safe in my life. She is covered okay, in Ruben, blood. It's time for a game of Super Ruben. Pig. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't think it would just immediately go for it. Mm. They just full on said like, you know what, Ruben? Screw you. <laughs> Does this old man have a Hi old there. Man? What? Look, you're gonna have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You wanna see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now. How does your machine work? Still a work in progress, but eventually it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. 
cool, theoretically. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear you. But if it's about getting into Elgard's dome, no can do. Sorry. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. Maybe that guy has something I could use. Do I just go for it? Nothing. Worth a shot, I guess. Uh, okay. I think we're good. We got the repeater. Can we talk to her? Olivia? Hey. What do you got for have me? Have you seen all these inventors? Sorry, also, I'm kind of far from these my mic. These inventors are all incredible. Seems like this place has really blown you away. You're not kidding. This is like everything I've ever dreamed of. I would have thought you'd be up in people's faces, talking about inventions. I want to, but I'm a little worried. I might know Redstone where we come from, but these people are the real deal, Jesse. I mean, I don't even know how they're making some of these things. Even if you're intimidated, maybe you could talk to them. They could teach you some cool stuff about what they know. Yeah, maybe. Only one way to learn, and that is to ask questions. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. That is probably one of the only ways to learn any... That was one, that's one of the very few ways to learn anything, is just to ask questions. Also, pull the lever! Safe. Your language, Missy. <laughs> um, I blew up the cow bolt. Okay, okay, it's time to, um, it's time to just leave. Okay, it's time to okay, advance in the story. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. We've blown some... We blew people up. Switch is on. Okay, oh, really? Good, the first lever, good. really? Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam! Door open. And we are in, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, we should be inside. I don't think there's any more. Oh, yeah, there is. Wow. Here it is. Eligard's Redstone Gotta Laboratory. Gotta figure out what levers to pull. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. A foyer. Oh, don't worry, pal. We'll find her. It's an airlock. So it's a secondary door. Uh, let's just pull the lever. I don't know what the piston thing back there had to do with any of this. That might be the most redstone stuff I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. God, what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know. Breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. I think I can hit the repeater one more time. Yeah, got it. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the redstone just...
speak to each other. Uh huh. Yeah. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man. Look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients. Now, I don't want to alarm you, Olivia, but... I have no, I have idea, no idea what I'm looking at. Here. I don't know what it is yet either. That's why I'm studying it. Come on, let's keep moving. Ooh, lava waterfall. Lava curtains. Ooh, lava curtain. So, uh, pull the lever, Kronk. No, no. That's lava awesome. does not flow that way in Minecraft, right? It would have taken like a good three fucking hours for that lava to get out of our way. Okay? <laughs> it takes forever for to get like lava out of the way. I'm not joking. Uh, this is like quite literally like puzzles to get through. I feel like axles is just like blow things up. That's why this I usually go that route. Eligard. Getting excited? Like you wouldn't believe. I wonder what she'll really be like in person. We got a button. Push the button. Are those? Bats? Yeah. I wonder why she even has that circuit. It's probably like just a. A goof circuit, I guess. Okay. Use. I believe this is an elevator. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just Shut try up. to save the world. <laughs> oh, I don't, I'm sorry to kill your dreams. Time to pace back and forth and check uh, the systems. This is a little creepy because she hasn't even noticed us. Delivery latency, speedy. Still talking to myself? Whoa, hi, hey, didn't see you sneaking up on me. <laughs> Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly <laughs> adorable pig, that is. <laughs> Jesse, she thinks we're, we're not new your assistants. assistants. Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you, Goggle Girl. Switch on that T flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, you I have to push a head. literal button, my gal. She passed out. Wow. Now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Olivia? O Olivia, can you hear me? I don't think that I've ever fainted before. Ugh. So embarrassing. Everything working over... Ooh. Hmm. Fine, I'll just do it myself then. Come on, come on, come on. Big winner, big winner, big... Loser! Ugh. Trial number 6,451. Another bust. Now, about you three. Uh, your friend here. Does she fall over frequently? Is this gonna be a regular occurrence? I... no. I'm sorry. I was just so excited to... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. I have to confess something, Eligard. We're not here to be your assistants. Whew. Kinda glad, actually. What with Madame faints a lot over there. <laughs> so, why are you here? She's We're just being mean to Olivia. To there's a giant wither storm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? Gabriel sent me. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, 
but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block, capable of altering reality itself. I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. I've seen one. one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. Yeah. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing. Uh, maybe actually. Which I am the originator. Yeah, let's is that hit this. Even possible? Is it possible? Can you really do that? Can we create another this command block? I don't think that's an option to. in the game at all. Who is me? If you're confused. I think and we fail completely. Eligard will make a command on block to make one. today. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe will you help me make one. It's going to work this time. I can feel it. Right here. In yeah, let's do that. I'm about to steal Olivia's dream, and I would feel like I'm going to piss her off along with Axel. Oh my god! Eligard had to give her the the evil eye. <laughs> Just because Olivia passed out. She's just sitting over in the corner, pouting now. <clears throat> she tried to help. She, she's at least trying to help. She got to push a button, along with Ruben. At least I get to pull the lever. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It's not working. Me everything you got. We're just like throwing random things together, seeing what if we can craft one. Wait, did I hit the wrong button? I did, and I pissed off the pig. Ah, that's why you shouldn't rush and hit it before it pops up. I just hit A as soon as I saw it. By the wither storm. Damn! I did not think this would happen. Oh yeah! I now I remember. The wither storm shows up and it like destroys the entirety of both these places. We gotta get out of here. They're destroying it! They're destroying the town! Oh, I gotta jump. I gotta say this, even though Reuben the Pig is probably like the 
Like, honestly, in my opinion, the stupidest Whoa, character. Hurry. He's also the best character in the game. Because it's like, why would you have a pig with you? I didn't have my hand on the controller! Because I was talking with my hands. Just beat it with the, the stone sword. Run! Over here! This way! Jump for it! Jesse! Oh, catch, 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 catch. We made it, we made it. Oh, mash egg. Like, as I was saying, Ruben, in my opinion, it's like, you didn't need to have the pig, but again, he still is, like, a funny touch to the game. And we just lost all of Redstonia. Okay, we are just back a here at the Order of the Stones base, I believe. Oh, that's certainly impressive. Looks like they've reinforced wow. it. Just four arrows? There? Nice! Oh, Jesse? Lucas got this Is on lockdown. If I remember, Axel also left Lucas, and abandoned hey, him. We're back. I'm so glad you're back! And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on! You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. It's Petra! Petra! Hey guys, how's it going? I'm like seriously starting to get I'm some deja so vu moments okay, as well because I'm like having parts of the game yeah, that I remember I'm come really back to me as we myself. get to them. And it's really good to see you, Jesse. Back there in Gabriel's bunker, it got pretty dicey. I can't believe you found us. This is amazing. You pulled me out of that Witherstorm's crutches and I ran and ran and ran for the temple. If you hadn't saved me, well, I owe you everything, Jesse. I'm just glad I heard Gabriel telling you where to go. Wow. Did Gabriel get away too? Did you see? It's all a blur, but the weather storm left almost nothing behind. Everything. Everyone. Was just gone. It consumed everything. Even got Gabriel. Eligard's face. Anything. Just a wide if mouth. I've seen it for myself. <laughs> this is terrible. Something about the Minecraft characters and the way Tall Tale Games Boy, tried to give them like expressions. It's I saw this place. it's just hilarious. Would oh yeah, and Alex, uh, Axel. I keep on trying here? to call him Alex. Axel went and got Magnus but as well. Do you two not like each other? Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? No, Why no, I did you not. Tell me, you did this on purpose. Hey, Axel's my friend, okay? I didn't know he was going to get Magnus. You gotta believe me. Well, I hope you're not expecting me to work with that cretin. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's why, going on. Why do they hate each other Much now? Appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse. My best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. Yeah, and you two are going to have to get along, okay? We didn't even know you were going to be here. That makes two of us then, but reversed for me. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had like the best day. You know what way, way to go, go Alex? Axel? Well, it you're the wasn't king. Easy. I had to beat him in a crazy tournament and Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death defying action, shenanigans and pyrotechnics. Bada bing, bada boom. Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean? Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. 
but I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very sweet. Yeah, he's sticking up for me. It's because I'm really awesome. All of you stop and it. super cool. Would you all cut it out? All of you. Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people. Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner. It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. Why? Because it's never come inside one of your... Just stop groups. fighting, people. Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse's right. We need to find some way to stop that thing. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? You're members of the Order. You two can't handle this? Whoa. Give us a minute, all right? We just barely got here. We'll get it. But against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie. Not this again. You know I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I got a legitimate idea here. What are you talking about? What did Soren have? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formidabomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-bomb before. F-bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-bomb could destroy anything. Well, the Formidabomb sounds perfect. We should go get it, now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But you found us. Do you know where he is? Oh, uh, maybe he's in the overworld now? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether. Or the end. But it's worth a shot. He wasn't on the map. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Because we are actually at a point here where I'm pretty sure it'd be a good time to pause. So, if you guys found yourself at any point enjoying this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. Also, remember to ring that notification bell so that way you guys can be notified upon me posting new videos. And yeah, anyways, this has been Gunshy Moray, signing out. Peace. <laughs>